Ladies and gentlemen, I've left her alone for months. I have left Princess Spunk Bowser alone for months, but I can't keep it in any longer. She just keeps lying. <laughs> So I'm sure you've all seen the stories. Two of them I really want to discuss at some length because, my God, she couldn't lie straight in bed. I wouldn't believe this woman's radio. Plus, she's seen more pricks than a second-hand dartboard. I refuse to believe anything that comes from the bee-stung lips of a woman that has proved to be so lacking in virtue. She has been on top of more pipes than the Mario Brothers, and she makes me want to puke. Story number one. Meghan Markle nonsense claim on N-Word and Archie thrashed by a British expert. If you didn't hear, when asked about the media, she said, Why would I give the very people that are calling my children the N-Word a photo of my child before I could share it with the people that love my child? Asked Meghan. <laughs> Listen, the woman is mentally ill. I don't know what else to tell you. Have you seen Meghan's children? They might as well call me the N-word. Do people call me the N-word? No, no, never happened to me once. Not once. Even when I got a really, really good tan in Spain. The, chi the child is a pasty little ginger. A little fox piss baby carrot. That's what the child looks like. Nobody says these things. Why would someone call your kid an N-word when it's a pasty blue-eyed ginger? Nobody thinks Megan's black. She's very, very, very light, so nobody in Europe would ever dream of calling her black anyway. And she married a pasty ginnock who, if he was any whiter, would have see-through skin like a newborn fish. Nobody would say that. And furthermore, nobody says it anyway in England. Let's just have it said before I show you some more evidence. Nobody says that word in the UK. It's not a British word. My grandparents, my parents, yes, I've heard them use euphemisms, comical ones, but they never use the N-word. Never. It's an American slur. It's not British. Nobody says it. Right? Royal expert Martin Daubney told GB News, she says it's about truth, but it's completely exploded in her face because she lies like a Chinese Rolex. It's an astonishing litany of allegations that is grotesque and sinister. She's a born liar. She is a born liar. She needs to keep that forked tongue between her crispy lips. <laughs> and when you've gobbled as many blokes off as she has, you've got crispy lips. She, she needs to buy an industrial strength chapstick and put it and reapply it 40 times a day. She loves talking about the Ku Klux Klan, which is ironic because she's been under more bedsheets than the bloke that leads the fucking organisation. What else have I got? Oh yeah, there's this one as well. From the left-wing independent, Nelson Mandela's grandson surprised by Mia Gaines' marriage celebration claims. The Duchess of Sussex recounted how she told South Africans rejoiced in the streets when she married Prince Harry. <laughs> really? Really? Meghan Markle's claim that people in South Africa rejoiced in the streets has surprised Nelson Mandela's grandson. The lying, sneaky sack of rats that we call the Duchess of Sussex, told The Cut magazine that a South African actor from the 2019 live-action version of The Lion King pulled her aside during the London premiere and told her they danced in the streets when she married the Ginnock. Well, I'll stop you there, Princess Slutbucket. I will stop you there, you yo-yo knickered Jezebel. We know that's not true. Do you know why? Well, because the actors only come out and said so. South African Lion King actor baffled over me again, Markle comments. Dr. John Carney said the royal wedding was no big deal in South Africa. Well, does, what does he know? He's only from South Africa. What does he know? I'll tell you who probably knows loads about South Africa. A random guardian twat. Let's listen to Owen Jones. Let's see what he's got to say about it. The statement is cringe as well. Cringe. He looked at me and he's just like light. Me again, the call. I just need you to know, when you married into the royal family, you rejoiced in the streets the same we did when Mandela was free from prison. <laughs> Bullshit, Mr. Handman. Bullshit. Dr. John Carney, who voiced the mandrill shaman Rafiki in the Disney film, has now claimed that he was the only South African actor in the production, and also said that he has never met the Duchess and did not attend the UK 
premiere, according to Mail Online. The Royal Shakespeare Company veteran insisted Michael's wedding was no big deal in South Africa and said, I cannot even tell you what month she married or what year. You've been telling porky pies, haven't you? You filthy sack of carrots. You've been lying and you've been caught again, you shameless wanton strumpet. Please stop opening your mouth, stop opening your legs and fucking do one. Jog on, Princess Pushy. Nobody likes you. You've got the charm of a rattlesnake with a hangover and a gusset like a yawning hippopotamus. You leave a snail trail everywhere you walk. And the only thing bigger than your minge are the lies that you tell. Please get Prince Harry to nail the fucking doors shut in Montecito and leave us all alone. Because if I ever see you again, Princess Sluckbucket, I don't want to do these videos. Why do you make me? Why, why do you make me? Just be quiet and shut up. Then we can all move on with our lives. You can raise your pasty ginger offspring that's never ever been racially abused on account of the fact that he's whiter than Danny Baker's bed sheets, right? And we can all get on with our lives. So please, me again, do us all a favor, zip it. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. I am off for the weekend. I'm going hiking in Mammoth, California, just like middle class assholes do, except I'm from Middlesbrough. So I'll probably walk about two miles, drink 40 cans of special brew and then sleep in a bush and call it a weekend. Thanks for watching. See you all very soon. God bless America and God save the queen. Maybe forget about the extended family though, eh? And the juggy and simpleton is apparently going to be the king and the pedo, and the princess. In fact, you know what? I think I better stop saying that last bit. <laughs> See you later.